Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First video of 2022 and we are feeling semi-great. <laughs> I've not been sleeping well this week. So that's what's going on. But this week I wanted to do kind of like a days, a few days in my life, not like a week in my life because I'm not going to be filming every single day. Um, but I just got back from the nail salon and I got my nails done. And the reason why I got my nails done is because tomorrow we are driving to Tampa. My husband and I are driving to Tampa and we have our maternity photo shoot. Well, my belly actually looks big on camera for once. Um, I'm currently 30 weeks pregnant. I will be 31 weeks pregnant on Tuesday. Today is Friday. So yeah, today's Friday, January 7th. I believe yes Friday January 7th um, yeah so we're gonna go we're driving to Tampa tomorrow to take our maternity photo so I got my nails done I'm so excited for this maternity shoot I found this photographer on Instagram using hashtags and stuff and I'm so excited like I love her work so much so I'm gonna show you guys like what we bought for the maternity shoot, like what we're gonna wear, what are some of the outfits that I have. She, all, My photographer also has like different outfits that she wants to put me in, um, but I'll show you what we bought and what we're wearing. And then um, the newest thing is that I actually got the Uppa Baby Vista. I think I, bought, I think I talked about that recently in a video. Um, but we got the Uppa Baby Vista and I'm actually gonna go and show you guys, like I love it so much, so. Let me show you the Alpha Baby Vista first, and then I'm going to show you what's the mood for the photo shoot. I'll show you my Pinterest board and what we have for outfits. Okay, guys, so here is the stroller and all its glory. I currently have the bassinet attachment set up to it, and that is because, um, literally, this is the real reason why I got the Alpha Baby Vista. So I got it in Bryce, which is white marl, with the uh, dark brown leather handle on it. This is what the bassinet looks like. But yeah, um, I got I put the bassinet attachment on it. Um, obviously, when we leave the hospital, this would just be in my car. And then, you know, we'll have the car seat and stuff. But um, when we're using the stroller, like, I plan to use the stroller um, with the bassinet attachment up until baby can no longer fit it anymore. There goes Zelda with her avocado. <laughs> um, so this is the stroller. And then... Do not mind the fact that we still currently have our Christmas tree up. We haven't gotten around to it, but we will this weekend. Uh, this is the car seat, the Mesa car seat, and this just straps in to the stroller. And then this is the toddler seat that comes with it. And um, once baby outgrows the bassinet, we're going to put them in a toddler seat, but definitely for sure the whole purpose of me getting the Vista was because I love the bassinet attachment. Um, so yeah, so this is the Uppa Baby Vista V2 stroller system that we have, and I'm so excited. I can't wait for me, like, just, just, we have to, uh, have to imagine, like, me? Me? And baby? <laughs> so for our maternity photo shoot, we're going for, I'll set up, record like a little video put it here on the screen of what my mood is what I'm going for for the maternity shoot so my photographer recommended a few pieces I bought a few pieces myself and yeah it's gonna be a little risque because I will be nude for some shoots but like that's literally the vibe that I want to go for is like I described it as like classic and intimate but my photographer was like that's not the way I would describe it but um, basically, if you know what maternity boudoir is, that's the kind of photo shoot that I'm going for. I will not be posting pictures on here, but if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my maternity photos at Mrs. Rachel Murray. So for my husband, where he's going to be wearing like Calvin Klein stuff. So uh, he just has like a white Calvin Klein shirt and he's going to be wearing white Calvin Klein underwear. That's literally his only outfit for the shoot. Um, for me, I have this new bodysuit. This is from Target. I've had it for a while. Uh, but she wanted to put me in like one one piece. And luckily, what she was looking for, I kind of have something similar. 
but um, she was looking for something that had like pants or shorts, but I don't, I just have this bodysuit. So I thought it would be cute to kind of pair this bodysuit with this hat for one of the looks. And I think that would be really cute. If not, like obviously like it's not a big deal, but I'm bringing the hat just in case. And then in the Calvin Klein bag, uh, my husband's like white Calvin Klein underwear that he's going to be wearing for the shoot for the boxers. Um, I have like my biggest look that I'm going for. Probably most of my shots would be in this is I have this white lace robe from Amazon. Very cute. It's very long. It comes down to about my ankles. Um, but I'm going to be wearing this with, I have a white lingerie set. So they actually don't match. They're not from the same set. Um, it, it's not like I bought it in a set together, but this white lace thong underwear is, um, by Victoria's Secret. And I've had this for a while. And then I have this white lace um, no padding, but it has underwire, um, bra. This is from, by the brand Auden from Target. And again, I've also had this for a while. I tried to order a white lace lingerie set online and it just didn't work out. I had to, I have like three returns now to return them because they just, not that I couldn't fit them. They either sent me the wrong product or it didn't look right or it's not what I expected it to be by the product photos online. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to stick with what I already have. The only thing that I bought outside, um, of what I already have is the robe from Amazon. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing a Calvin Klein, um, set as well. So I did when I bought my husband stuff. Um, I have this white triangle bra that I'm going to wear in the, sh in the shoot as well. So I have this white triangle bra, and then I have a white Calvin Klein thong underwear with the thick band. So when my husband's in the shot with me, we'll switch to the Calvin Klein um, shots, but the ones by myself, I'm either going to be wearing the bodysuit or the white lace lingerie set. So... Again, we're driving to Tampa tomorrow for that. We have to leave our house at like 9. The shoot's at 11. So that will be like perfect timing just to make sure we like we get everything like we're there on time with traffic and everything. And then after our maternity shoot, we are going on our baby moon, which I haven't talked about. We're going to Savannah, Georgia, which is about four and a half hours away from where we live in Central Florida. Um, so yeah, we're staying in Savannah, Georgia, and we're just, I just want like a relaxed, I don't know how to like relax, like no stress weekend with my husband because this is the last time that we will be together without kids or dogs my sister is going to watch my dogs or watch our dogs for me so for us i'm sorry so yeah we're just going to go to savannah georgia um for a few days i think it's like four days or three days in total i can't remember it might be four days three nights i think it is but yeah um we're going to be leaving for that next week thursday on the 13th i think is when we leave so today's saturday it is the next day I didn't film anything else after yesterday. I literally took a nap. Like I said, I was going to do an eight dinner and that was it. But it is currently 10.50 on Saturday the 8th. Do you want to tell these people why you're so happy today, Bubby? Because my car comes in today. Yes. yes. I don't think I talked about it um, in videos, but Andre got a new sports car and it finally came in we had to order it from the dealership because as you everyone is aware there's a chip shortage right now so yeah we are actually in tampa right now we have an hour before our maternity shoot so we're at a local starbucks just chilling here for a little bit probably get something to drink use the bathroom and then we're gonna go to our maternity shoot and then after that we're gonna go pick up his brand new sports car are you excited? That's right. 
2022 Toyota GR86. Yeah, so it's a 2022 Toyota GR86. And It'll I'll, be in there. We'll show you guys um, when we pick up the car, like what it looks like, and give you guys a little bit of a car tour. So that will be it. I will check in with you guys in a little bit after we get to the maternity shoot. <laughs> Why are you always laughing at me? Because you're funny. I'm not funny. Also, my makeup and my hair did come out bomb, so I just hope it stays like this because we were supposed to shoot at 11 and my photographer was like, oh, just kidding. I'll be ready at 12. So here's the hoping my hair and makeup stays. So we are home now and we got back from our maternity shoot. I am so excited for these photos. Like I cannot wait for these photos to come back. And um, we had such a good time. Ah, oh, I just can't wait. Like I got to see the preview and if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm plugging my Instagram so much, but I will post the photos on there. And also I will probably put a little video here on the screen of just a little sneak peek just for my YouTubers um, here who are watching on YouTube. But I'm so excited to see the photos. They came out so good. She is super, super talented. And honestly, if you're in the Tampa, Orlando area, if she's she was only an hour drive from us, um, I highly recommend her. And I'll put her Instagram and all that information down here for you guys, like if you're interested. But we're back home now, and we have less than an hour to get Andre's car, old car that we're trading in, um, cleaned. And we're gonna head over to the dealership. dealership. Hello, I'm talking too fast. Um, so he can get his new car. But if you guys didn't know, this is Andre's old car. So he had a Toyota 2011 to Toyota Corolla. This was not my choice of car. <laughs> I told him not to buy this car. So we're going to trade this one in and pick up his new car. Are you excited? I know, I know you're excited. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah. Like, finally getting the car that I've been eyeing for months i never get like new stuff ever. it's gonna be awesome so we're just gonna finish getting ready um get the car ready and everything for the dealership and then we'll show you guys his brand new car Toyota GR86, it just dropped in the States in December. Um, mine was only shipped straight from the factory in Gumna, Japan, which is amazing for all your whatever like two or three anime fans you have on your channel. <laughs> um, that watch Initial D, that's like where my huge inspiration for cars came from and the whole drifting scene and stuff like that. I can't do any of that stuff yet, um, but I knew how to drive manual, want to get better at it. Figure why not get this car? It's a fantastic car. It holds a special place in my heart because I can be just like the character from the anime Mission D. Um, but yeah, so it's 228 horsepower, 184 pound feet of torque. Not anything like too crazy. I got the base model, so it does have aluminum alloy wheels. They are 17s. I'm probably gonna switch out to some 18s, like rotary forged wheels, at some point in the very near future. Um, yeah, I mean, this thing is all arrowed out. So these are active vents here and in the front, which help with cooling the brakes and helping keeping the downforce down. This is all active arrow uh, vortex generators here just to help keep the car planted. And of course, it has just a small ducktail spoiler, but I will probably get a bigger wing in the future because, like, what's the point of having a sports car if you don't have a wing? Just like that. 
If I give you it probably never looked worse. Be careful. But it's okay. Again, don't mind the Christmas tree. Currently watching Sarah's Day on YouTube. I am <clears throat> feeding the dogs. It is also Sunday morning. Let me get this annoying microwave. Uh, but yesterday was just so insane. Um, we just, after getting Andre's car, after getting Andre's car yesterday, uh, it was just so crazy because we had to order Andre's car. Cause if you don't know chip shortages, I don't know if I went over this or not pregnancy brain. Um, but there are chip shortages and also it's a brand new, uh, 2022 and obviously like low production, blah, 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 this kind of stuff. So Andre had to pre-order his car straight from the manufacturer. Like this car literally came straight from Japan itself. Um, so if there's any like car people out there, you'll know how much Andre appreciates him getting, um, the Toyota GR86. That was his Christmas gift. Um, and then I got the Upper Baby Vista as my Christmas gift to myself. So we kind of like bought each other's very expensive Christmas gifts this year. Um, we still exchanged Christmas gifts, but we did like smaller things just to like have presents to open on Christmas. But our main gifts were obviously him getting his car, his dream car, and then uh, me getting my dream stroller. <laughs> but yeah, so we had to order, especially order Andre's car. Um, from the dealership straight from the manufacturer um, so it wasn't actually supposed to come in until next week well actually it was supposed to originally come in like three days ago um, and then it they said like there was a delay of it getting to the port in Japan I think um, so we weren't gonna get it until next week but it just worked out and we got it earlier than we originally well not originally but earlier than what we thought um, yesterday like I was saying was a very busy day um, we had especially order his car, so we did pre-financing like a month ago, and apparently they lost the paperwork, and then we had to do financing all over again, so it was just like the whole process of buying a new car all over again. So it took a lot longer than we expected, and then I went to my sister's house for dinner, and then Andre went to his parents' house to catch up with them and to show them the car, obviously. And we didn't get home until like 1 a.m. And he had to work this morning. I slept in at home, walked the dogs. I'm feeding them now, feeding myself, currently making bacon in the air fryer. And I have some Eggo waffles that I'm about to put in the toaster. Not the healthiest breakfast, but I just need something in my stomach. My eyes are so tired. I have not been sleeping well this week. I think I mentioned that in this video already, but I've not been sleeping well. Last night was pretty good. That was because I was exhausted. I am going to make myself a dry tea. If you guys uh, want to know the recipe, it is in my last video, which I'll post in the cards up here. But yeah, going to make myself a chai tea. Look at little baby Murray. Honestly, guys, I don't know if I showed you these uh, photos, these ultrasound pictures, but they look very much like Andre. So, I low-key think it's a boy. I really do think it's a boy because of how much it looks like Andre. But it could also be a girl that has Andre features, <laughs> which would suck, but his family genes are just very strong, so I wouldn't be surprised. Movement, but I feel like I can never get the right angle. Like, I can see my belly moving and like him kicking and rolling, but I feel like I can... It's literally a few days later. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this vlog all over the place. But it is now Wednesday. And we have so much to do today. I've not still not have not. I still have not taken down this tree. We are going to do that right now. <laughs>
Christmas decor is gone and it is back to regular household. Christmas has officially left my house on January 12th. But hey, at least it's done and everything's back to normal. Time to get packing. We are literally going for two full days and three nights. So I'm bringing our small carry-on just because um, since it's gonna be cold there, I'm gonna have boots. So I was looking at our itinerary that I made and on like the, our first full day, I have like walking the, river, the riverside um, visiting shops. Um, I want to watch the sunrise over TB Island. Um, and that's going to be like a bucket list thing that me and Andre always wanted to do. So it'd be nice to do this, you know, before baby comes and our last anniversary without children. And then we're going to go to the dinner at somewhere at the hotel, somewhere fancy, or we're going somewhere fancy. We're going to Ruth's Chris. Um, and then the next day we have an explore day, visit Forsyth Park and then visit Jones Street. So really and truly, I kind of only need like two to three outfits, but being pregnant, you never know. I am going to pack. These are um, weather, like, I don't know how to say it, like thermal leggings, I guess is the best way to say it. I bought those leggings for our trip last year when we went to Tennessee and we went skiing and stuff. So, and it was really great during that trip. So I'm going to do that. With those leggings, I'm thinking this white um, kind of mock turtleneck sweater. This one is super thick too, so it will go great. And the leggings come up pretty high, so I'll be able to wear that cropped, um, that cropped shirt with the leggings and then just put a jacket over it and be fine. I'm bringing this blue mock dress it fits over the bump i've worn it once and depending on like we might go out to dinner the first night when we get there like tomorrow night when we arrive uh or we might order in but just in case i'm bringing that dress i have these checkered pants that are so cute so like i might dress up to like go walk around fourth site park because that's such a cute place and I want to take pictures and whatnot. And then I have this turtleneck long sleeve bodysuit that I'm going to bring as well to go with those checkered pants. I have this really cute navy blue slip dress that I'm thinking about wearing the night of our anniversary because we're going out to Ruth Chris, like I said, for dinner. So I'm going to wear this. I haven't worn that since last year, Mother's Day. I should probably try that on before I pack it just to make sure I still fit in it. But I'm pretty sure I do because it was like a pretty loose dress on me before. I'm bringing this nude um, ribbed dress as well. I have a lot of dresses, but pregnant women, you know, it's just the comfiest. I bought these specifically for these for the trip so these are like long trench coats they come down to like low calf for me um, they're from Target's brand a new day and they are a little pricey they're like $60 but I think trench coats are just expensive in general but I did wait for it to go on sale and it was like $45 and that's when I scooped them up um, but yeah or they might have been cheaper than that. I think they were like 30 each so I'm gonna bring this one, I, I bought two. I bought one in black and then I bought one in a brown and these are like super thick um, and big. So I gotta make sure they fit. And then this is the light brown one, tan one that I brought, that I bought as well. And these are just gonna go over the outfits that I have. Um, they're going to work either way, depending on, you know, what outfit that I have. They're pretty good to go either way. And then for shoes, I have these...
knee high boots that have like a little heel on them and I know for that leggings and the mock turtleneck shirt that I'm thinking of that outfit that would look this would be really good with it um and then I'm also going to bring these boots as well these are from Target I got them not too long ago actually they came out this year if I'm not mistaken like right before the holidays like between Thanksgiving and Christmas but I'm going to wear these down so I can make more room in my suitcase for the most part I have all my outfits planned out I just obviously just need to pack toiletry bag makeup bag and PJs and like underwears and bras but that's mainly the gist of what I'm packing because it's such a short trip like we're literally gonna be there for two full days um, so and let's be honest I hope to God that I can like keep up but like these days I'm just so tired so we'll see and hopefully these um these jackets these trench coats will fit in this small bag hope you guys like this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye